Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to solve a very basic power flow problem in Power World Simulator. We're going to use a very basic 3 bus system. The data for this the 3 bus system is shown on your screen right now. Here we see that we have a swing or a slack bus, a generator bus, and a load bus. There are a number of things that are given for these buses, and there are some missing things. These missing things we have to find using the Power World Simulator here. So let's get started. The first step is creating a new case. Okay. Then in the edit mode, we go to the draw and networks, click on the bus, then click on the screen, and you'll see the bus options here. Okay. You can change the bus number to whatever you want to, bus name. Since the bus one is generally by convention a swing or a slack bus, I'm going to give a name slack. Okay. This nominal value that you see here, this basically is the base voltage at that bus. I'm going to change this value to 230, which is given in our case here. Then uh, in the bus information, since this is the slack bus, so you are going to check this option, system slack bus. Then the bus voltage you can give it whatever value which is given according to our data, the value is 1.05. Okay, so we can see that this is the bus, a slack bus. In a similar way, we're going to place our other buses, the load bus and the generator bus. We're going to click on the screen. Okay, now that we are done with placing all the buses, it's time to connect the generators and loads with these buses. Since the slack bus is a generator bus, basically it's a generator bus, so we're going to put a generator on the bus. You click on the bus and generator options will open. In the generator options, uh, there are a number of things that I need to tell you. First is the generator MBA base. This basically is the base MBA for this generator since uh, in our case it's 100 MBA. You can change it to whatever value you have but I'm going to keep it to 100 MBA. Then is the megawatt output and MBAR output in the power and voltage control. Since these two values, according to our data, are unknown, so we can give them any value. I'm going to give it a value of, let's say, 0, 0. I'm not going to give it any value. Initially, it's going to be 0. Then, at the set point voltage, since we know the voltage for the slack bus, which is 1.05 per unit, make sure you enter the values in per unit. So, I'm going to click OK. This is all you have to do. Okay. Then, the generator bus... As a generator bus, we have to add a generator, a second generator. In a similar way, click on the generator bus. So in the generator options, I'm going to give a value of uh, 50 megawatt output, which is given according to our data. The MBAR output is not given, so you can give it any value that you want to. I'm going to keep it 0. You can give it any value. Set point voltage, I've set it to 1.07. This was given in our data. Click OK. OK. Then you're going to connect a load at the load bus. Double click on the bus. Load options will open. Now you have to enter in the load information, you have to enter the megawatt and MVAR ratings of the load. In our case, it's 70 megawatts and 70 MVAR. So I'm going to put this value. Okay. Now we have our system. I mean, we have connected all the loads and generators that we needed to. Now, we have to connect them, you know, this system through transmission line. In the network, click on transmission line. Connect the two buses that you want to. 
then double click on the second bus and a branch option menu will open. In the branch option menu, in the parameters, you have to enter the series resistance, series reactance, shunt charging and shunt capacitor and conductance. Now, as you can see on, on the screen, the line data is being shown. We have resistance, impedance and capacitance given to us already. So we are going to put these values into this machine line here. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very large thing here. You can uh, resize it. Simply click on it and resize it to whatever size you want. And I particularly don't like these red boxes here. So what you're going to do is that double click on this red box. This menu will open and you're going to make the size equal to zero. And it will disappear. In a similar way, you can do the same with this other red box. Now I have connected all the three buses with the transmission lines and I have given them the values of resistance, uh, inductance and capacitance according to our given data as I did for the first line. Again, now, okay, now we're done with drawing the system. Now is the time to run the system. In the run mode, go to tools and then click on this play button. As you can see in the screen, the current is flowing in the transmission lines and the values, the N megawatt and MVR values for the flag bus have changed from zero to some particular values. And the MVR value of the generator bus has also changed. Okay, now if you want to see the detailed analysis of this whole system, like the voltages, the unknown voltages, the angles and everything, you're going to click on this model explorer option which you probably you can't see in your screen because it's really at the edge of the area that I have selected for this screen recorder. So there's this option, I hope it's model explorer. So click on that option. So after clicking on the model explorer, this is what you're going to see. All the bus information is on your screen right now. You can see a flag bus, a generator bus, a load bus, and the nominal vo kilovolt voltages. Nominal kilovolt voltage is basically the base voltage for that bus, and the per unit voltage, kilovolt voltages, and angles. Angles are in degrees. And then all the other information, all the unknowns that we said that we need to find out in the beginning, now we know them. So this is an very basic tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Bye.